How's it going guys? Welcome to another vlog. Um, this is week three of the Gymshark 66 day challenge and this week's focus is about trying to learn something. So kind of just taking the week, focus on something specific that you've always maybe wanted to learn more about, really actually put an effort into it. So let's get going with this week, shall we? All right, guys, I'm out walking right now. It's Sunday afternoon and I read some of my book this morning and today's focus was really about um, talking about how your mindset affects your discipline long-term. And it really kind of hit home, at least for me personally, I'm always kind of taught that, you know, you have to do high intensity interval training, do a lot of running to basically reach your goals short term. So like if you're trying to shed those 10 to 15 pounds, you're like, if I stay really disciplined right now and I just work out as hard as I can, then I can see that result, which you might be able to, which I have done myself, but you don't seem to really enjoy the process and by the end of it, um, you wanna give up. And that is a big thing that I had to take note of because for me, I would work out really, really hard and then I stopped and then I clearly gained some weight back. And it's because I wasn't enjoying the process. And there's been these other times where I did my 5K run challenge and I wanted to run. Like I wanted to get out, I wanted to get moving and it didn't feel like a chore to me. And that is something that I was reading about earlier in the book that I've discussed with you guys before, but it just kind of really hit home because, and it's just so true. And I'm gonna really do better at just going out and just being active in any way that I possibly can that I enjoy because I want long-term results. I don't want short-term. In short-term, I know I could lose some weight right here really quick in the first couple weeks, but if I choose to go out and be active and do things that I like, then I will sustain that better long term and my weight will come off. I'm so worried about hitting a certain weight number or have so much muscle by a certain point and um, that hasn't been a good motivating factor. It's actually made me feel like I don't really enjoy my workouts as much and I don't want to have that kind of relationship with my health and fitness. So that is kind of the point that I have learned so far in this book. I'm going to go home and actually read some more tonight which is really weird for me because I'm not um, an avid reader. So um, I'm kind of excited to kind of continue reading this book and kind of see what comes from it. So, okay, so I went out to continue running and I just wanted to give you guys just a quick update and reality check for myself. So I started running and I made it about three quarters of a mile in and I was exhausted. I couldn't figure out my pacing and I just ran out of breath. And I know it's like later in the afternoon. I didn't properly fuel before this run or anything, but I really just wanted to see where my fitness level was at because I have not done running in a while and oh man, I am really bad. And you know, I could just stand here and keep putting myself down about you know how I'm not at the level I used to be, which is true. I know I'm better than the run I did today, but it's okay if you're not to the level that you're supposed to be at or where you used to be maybe back in high school or even just a few months ago. It's all about just making the progress. So yeah, I'm gonna go finish this run and I'll see you guys back at the house. Well, good morning, everyone. It is Monday. It is still my day off. Today is about getting a lot of things done today and doing some more reading. So um, I'm just cleaning myself up right now. I gotta go run over to Costco, add my girlfriend to my membership, and then we're gonna go out to the park a little bit later. And so I'm gonna do some exercise while she's skateboarding. And then I'm gonna come back, do some laundry, and we'll do some reading and see what we learn about myself today. All right, so all my errands have been run around. I got all that done. Just started the laundry. Um, I didn't work out of the park. I was just kind of watching my girlfriend do her um, skateboarding. So I'm gonna probably do a workout here at the house. And then afterwards I will um, start reading my book.
Okay, so it's Tuesday evening. We have two more days of educating yourself for this week. Um, I didn't post anything yesterday, so I kind of wanted to talk about last night and today's reading. And they kind of discussed a lot on the point of really, really focusing on not worrying about the weight loss itself or like the very specific goals of like, I want to lose 60 pounds, I want to lose 70 pounds, or this, this, and this, or like using certain incentives. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen those websites where it's like, if you sign up, if you lose so much weight, then they'll pay you basically. Um, and you're kind of betting on yourself to help you lose weight. And that might be a good motivator for some people, but in general, this really talks about really using the things that you enjoy as your motivator. Like for long-term success, don't focus so much on, I just need to lose weight. Um, really focus on just trying to do things that are more active and healthy in general that you actually enjoy doing. So like whether it's hiking or for me, like maybe going out and playing some tennis or going out and doing my walks. And when it comes to my food, like choosing more healthier food options that I know that I enjoy and just choose not to overeat where that doesn't feel like a chore. Like for me, if I was thrown salmon and some other foods that I didn't really enjoy normally, it's just going to feel like a punishment. So I know punishment is something that I've been bringing up a lot in this book. Um, of course, that's the whole focus is to really changing your mindset and making things not feel like a punishment. But I thought that was a really good thing to think about because for me, losing weight in general has always been kind of my main focus and just really focusing on gaining crazy muscle. When in reality, sometimes my motivation to want to exercise or push myself to do like a lot of push-ups, for example, or do like 40 minute workouts, maybe aren't the best motivators for me because sometimes I don't really want to do them. But I know for me, I don't even think twice when I'm thinking about maybe going outside, uh, playing some basketball or playing some tennis or just going for a walk. Like those things just feel natural and normal to me and they don't feel bad. And those are things that I need to start moving into my regular daily habits because they don't bother me and there's something I actually enjoy. And over time, if you think about it long term, if you're incorporating those things more often, then you're going to have more long term success and that weight will start to fall off by default because you're already changing the way that you're acting. So that's just some more info that I learned this week. Um, and I'm kind of excited to kind of keep going and see what happens here. I'm planning to go to bed pretty early tonight and then maybe I'll do um, an ab workout. Maybe I'll do some yoga. I'm not quite sure, but I'll do something active in the morning and maybe continue some reading and see if I learn anything else. Good morning, everyone. It is 5.30 in the morning right now. I went to bed pretty early last night after reading um, because I wanted to wake up to get a little bit more stuff done today. Um, I want to edit an Instagram reel. I want to read a little bit more. And I wanted to try to get a workout in today before I go to work. So I usually leave for work around 8 o'clock or 8.10. And it's around 5.30 right now. So i got a good hour and a half to try to power through this. So... I'm going to try to get this done and then uh, go on with my day. Alrighty guys, we have made it through the day. I did my workout this morning, I read my book, I had some leftovers for lunch, and I really wanted to talk about one of the key points from my reading today. And it was basically one of these clients uh, that, that this doctor's talking about in the book where she set up a time for her workout for the day. Let's just say she scheduled her 40 minute workout for her class at the gym, but she got out of work late and decided not to go to the gym because then she would only have 30 minutes left in the workout to get it done and she wouldn't be able to complete the entire workout. And so she was like, well, I'm not going to go now because then it's not going to count. I have done that so many times and I don't know why, but when you read it, you realize how stupid it sounds. It's like you still have 30 minutes of a good workout and it, those 30 minutes are still going to count. But for some weird reason, all of us tend to, at least for me personally, I can't say for you, but I have made that excuse so many times. I'd get off from work. I'm like, okay, I'm going to open my Smirket app. I'm going to do my 35, 40 minute workout and then I'm going to make dinner. And then I get out of work late and I'm like, well, now I don't have enough time. I need to make dinner now. And just doing a workout for 15, 20 minutes. Like I don't want to just kind of sweat and then have to take a shower. And I tended to do that a lot towards the end of last year as well, because we were getting closer to the holidays and I was just feeling a little bit more lazy. I was kind of being more relaxed in my workouts. And so that really hit home and 
yeah, I'm getting educated every day just for my basic thought process when it comes to my health and fitness, which I guess is a good thing. But man, sometimes when you have to sit there and really evaluate how you think about things, it's really important to kind of take time to do that because we're always so taught one way with everything. It's like you have to do high interval training, so you have to burn all these calories. And yeah, that might work for some people who are driven by that, but at least for me personally, but when I did hit in the beginning, I did it because I was like, oh, I'm gonna burn this many calories the fastest possible. I'll see these results the quickest, but I wasn't enjoying it. It wasn't great uh, for me personally. Like I felt all right that I was doing the workout, but it didn't make me feel motivated to wanna keep doing it. I just felt like I had to. And I noticed over time though, when I was doing my certain workouts, like going out and doing my runs and stuff, in the beginning, I didn't really love it and enjoy it. But later on, I started to appreciate it and I liked kind of going outside, but that was a total switch in mindset later on. And so I feel like that is really crucial and important because you have to enjoy what you're doing to sustain it long-term. I think that's why I was sustaining it so well for most of the year of 2019, because I was really driven by wanting to lose weight and I finally had that kick in the butt because I couldn't do that years ago. And yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's crazy how much your mind controls everything that you do. And I really just hope you guys can get to the point where you really feel like you can support yourselves because it's so hard to be there and be your number one cheerleader. But when you can do it, like there's nothing that can stop you in reality. Like if you can really stay disciplined and you believe in yourself enough, anything is possible. Alrighty guys, so it is Friday. Yesterday was the very last day of the week for educating yourself as the challenge. So I did learn a lot from the book in general. I know I already shared a lot of those points with you, but if I could say I gathered anything from this week was you really just need to throw out the stereotypes of what you have been taught about health and fitness. Stop worrying so much about the weight number and watching it drop within like a week or two weeks because as I've learned, like I've lost weight and I was so happy about it in the moment, but I can also remember that a lot of times it was very difficult and it was really hard mentally and I did feel like it was at a punishment at certain points. And clearly as where I'm sitting at now and from the second half of 2020, um, I kind of fell off the bandwagon and it wasn't something I could stay consistent with long term. And that's one of those things where now I'm really trying to take this year and really switch my mindset so that I feel like I have control over my life and that living happy and healthy is not a punishment and that it is something that um, not only I can enjoy outside when I do exercise, but also I'm at home and when I'm eating and it doesn't feel like I'm being forced to do something so that I live healthier. I want it to be something that I want to do every single day. That's always been kind of the mindset I've always wanted to have, um, but I've just been always kind of telling myself to think that way, even though it wasn't always um, enjoying eating the same exact thing every week. I would say that was my big learning point this week. Hopefully you guys maybe learn some stuff yourself if you're doing the challenge. And if not, I do encourage you to try to do something and try to educate yourself on something you've always had interest in, at least for a week, just like really dedicate time for it every single day. And I would say this was a really good challenge. So when you guys pick up with me in next week's video, it'll actually still be today, which is Friday. And we are gonna be focusing on doing a healthy habit switch. I don't remember the proper title for it, but basically just kind of swapping something out for something good. So if you like to drink a lot of soda, switch it out for water. If you like to eat a lot of sweets, maybe switch that out with something more healthier, like a fruit or something instead that's naturally sweetened by its own uh, ingredients instead of adding additional sugar into something like a cookie. And this is where I'm gonna end this week. I really appreciate you guys watching my video. Again, please like it, give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. That will help me out. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate reaching out to you guys and talking to you every single day, so. And also don't forget to check my Instagram and Snapchat. I do try to post on Instagram every single day if I can, at least through the stories. And I try to do a couple posts a week, so. I'll be looking out for you guys. Really appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll see you guys all next week.